Hi guys, so before I start this video, I want to let you guys know that I'll be having my first giveaway. And in this giveaway, I'll be giving away two vision board kits. One to a lucky follower on my Instagram account and one to a lucky subscriber on my YouTube account. So go ahead guys, click that share button. Um, click that like button and leave that comment down below and remember to click your notification bell so you don't miss any new uploads okay bye guys can't wait to see which one of you win your own vision board kit hi guys welcome back to my channel I'm When you're feeling down and your mind is under pressure Don't you worry cause I know it will get better So speak life and it will turn out in your favor Just wanna let you know that this will make you stronger You know see the house yet, claim it If you know see the money yet, claim it If you know see the land yet, claim it If you know see the job yet, claim it if you don't see promotion yet If you don't see the business yet If you don't see the care yet If you don't see the hey. Hi subscribers, welcome back to my channel I want to thank you guys so much for all the love and all the support That you guys have been pouring out on my channel and on my Instagram page I just want to say thank you guys from the bottom of my heart Um thank you for all the encouragement as well and if you are new to my channel please go ahead and click that subscribe button down below and remember to click the notification bell so you don't miss any new uploads um so based on my last video that i did um well not my last i think it was two videos ago i did how i did my vision board i did a video titled that and um I've been getting a lot of feedbacks and a lot of messages asking how I went about creating the vision board. So this is just like a little um, video to show you guys how you can create your own vision board. I actually showed you how I did mine. I'm going to show you and tell you guys how you can do yours because you have many different ways to do vision boards. Okay, so first things first, you have to figure out how you're going to do your vision board because that after you do that that's how you are going to know decide on the tools that you're going to need to bring your vision board to life no there's no one way to do a vision board um vision board is like a part of you, it's your personality you do your vision board how you feel like it um depicts you um or it expresses you um there are many different ways to do the vision board some persons paste pictures on their vision board like mine so i'm going to show you guys my vision board i hope you guys can see all of it so this is my vision board so this is what i did right so put that away so as i said there's many different ways for me i use pictures from magazines and i use stickers you know to give it a little bit of a bling bling um i also use the marker to write on some things on it that i would want now for me i split my vision board as i said into three different categories i split it in terms of my personal life my business life and my family life but you guys don't have to do that but before i go into all of that you have to know you have to first understand or determine why is it you're creating a vision board in the first place mainly most people do vision board in order to achieve goals they want to put down all the things that they want to achieve um for a period of time probably it's a year a two year a three year even a five year some people have 10 year um 10 year vision board plans so it depends on how long you want your vision board your vision board to be for um and uh, what it is that you're doing now if it's just like to achieve you can do your vision board to achieve one specific goal 
you don't have to do your vision board to achieve tons and tons of goals you can do it to achieve one specific goal now if you want to do that you can go ahead and do that and how i would suggest you do it is let me see if i can scoot over so what you'll do is i would first head up my board you can put I have a marker so there are some things that you're gonna need of course you're gonna need the board you're gonna need markers that if you're going to be using markers I have two markers I have two sharpie a black and a red um, you're going to need stickers I have a lot of stickers um, you can use um, pictures from magazines as well um, I don't have any magazines unfortunately um, but if you want to put pictures on your vision board, you can all, you can get it from magazines or even newspaper. If you want to print the pictures off on your computer and print them, not a problem. You can do that as well. So I decided to go for a whiteboard that I have. I decided to use my son's whiteboard because then I can erase it and show you guys exactly what to do. So as I was saying, so you can have... You can do your vision board um, in many different ways. Say for instance, you want to do your vision board for like a five year plan, right? You can you can put the, the word vision board on it, that's for sure. So you can put the word vision board. You can put the word vision board on it. Um, you can write it on it or you can paste letters on it whichever one you prefer you can do that and the first thing that you want to do is to date your vision board so i'm going to put the date at the bottom and i'm just putting the year and the month so that i know when i started and i can i can when i'm done i know how long it took me to achieve what i what i, what I plan on achieving on, or if i'm on target so, um, yeah, so now that we put vision board on it, and we put the year that, we put, that we're doing, our, the month and the year that we're doing our vision board, we can then go ahead and put how long we want our vision board to be for, whether it's a one year plan, or it's a 10 year plan, or a five year plan, your choice. You can do it like this. It's a, this is a good setup and then you'd want to say what you want to achieve so as i said you can use it by writing on it or you can use pictures to depict what it is that you want to achieve now you can put on it to say goals and um you put your checkbox and you write goal one you put another checkbox goal two checkbox goal three you can do it something like that right if you're going to do it like this with your check boxes is one way of doing your vision board and you just continue with all your goals that you plan on and achieving and all the things that you want to get done for that year so this is one way you can do your vision board and i mean as i said there's no one way to do the vision board in order to make it look like you know what you could probably do is to get like some sticky paper you know those small sticky papers and you can write nice notes on it to yourself just to keep motivating yourself and you could paste them on it you know to bring it up to make it look like you and so once you look at it you know that you want to work towards it um yeah so this is one way to do the vision board i'm going to show you another way that you can use when you're doing vision board i'm going to leave the word vision board at the top nah i'm going to erase it all right so the let me put back my cover so the next way that we can do the vision board is as I said, once you have your pictures, you can go ahead and start pasting them. So, let's say um, for we are going to put the first, put the word vision board in the middle. All 
All right, we'll put it in the middle like that. All right, we're gonna date it again. I hope you guys can see it. And let's say we want to work on some aspect of our life. So let's say we want to finish university. Instead of writing the word finish university, what you could actually do is to get a picture of a graduating cap. So I'm just gonna draw the graduating cap. Don't judge my drawing. And that's the cap. That's the first one. And I'm just gonna put a line to it. Let's say the next one that you wanted to do was to buy a house. I'm gonna put that arrow and I'm gonna you could get a picture of a house as well but because I don't have a magazine I'm just drawing okay let's say the next thing that you wanted to do was to buy a car This car more look like one spaceship, you know. It won't look like a spaceship. I don't know what I'm drawing. Listen, I never got art school. Anyway, that's my car. You know, it won't look like a spaceship still. Yeah? Okay. All right, so let's say the next thing that you wanted to do was to um, get a promotion. No, I don't know how you draw get a promotion, but mega put like, um, I don't know, confetti. You know the something more day in a WhatsApp? Would it be your confetti or come out it? That's it. Let's say the next thing that you wanted to do was to, um, I don't know, um, go on a cruise. Them something you want to like my vision board. <laughs> mm. So I'm going to draw a ship. I don't know how to draw a ship. So I'm probably going to do a sailing boat. Yes, I didn't go to art class. Alright, so looking at it. If you look at it, this is a way that you can do your vision board. It looks kind of um, not so much nice now because I have to draw it. But as I said, you can use pictures um, from a magazine or you can print them and paste them on your board. Um, but you put your arrows towards them so it keep reminding you of the things that you set out to do. And this is just a simple way to do a vision board. This one is very simple. Once you look at it, you know what it is that you're going for, right? Um, as I said, in doing this, you can put little notes on it to say, um, to say, you can do it. Um, um, let me use a different marker because this one is kind of dull. I only have my red and my green marker. You can put another one in to say, you got this. Um, you can put another one to say, God got you. And you can just nice it up. So when you look at it, it keep motivating you. Or you can put one to say never, never stop. Or keep pushing. So there are many ways that you can do the vision board. All right. So this is another way that you can do your board. I'm going to show you one final way um, and this one is more like a, a plan I mean all of these are plans anyway but it's it's nicer or as a visual as in the name suggests it's a vision board so you can it's good to 
show what it is that you want to achieve um, in terms of pictures you know um another way i was talking to somebody today and i was explaining to them how you can set your goals so you can achieve them and this is you can put this on a vision board as well some people just write them down but it's good when you have a vision board where you can put the pictures on and you can look at it and see visualize the things that you want to achieve whether it's a two-story house you put a two-story house um whether it's a nice car you put it on it whether it's a bicycle you put it on it um whether it's a wedding ring you put it on it you know put pictures on it so you can see the things that you want to achieve and i think that's the whole idea of a vision board rather than just writing down the name of the things that you want to achieve all right so i was talking to somebody today she um is a friend she was she's going to university um and she wanted to know how she could go about you know doing writing achieving the goals writing them down and keeping them so this is something that you can also put on the vision board by using words so i said you could at the end of the day the first thing you could you could do is to put the goal that you want to achieve so the goal is what you want to achieve is the ultimate goal right and that is to finish university and again I'm going to draw my graduation cap and I don't want anybody to judge me so that's the ultimate goal I was saying to her that um, in between when you want to achieve your ultimate goal there are certain milestones that you have to achieve in order to get to that goal and in going to university your milestones could be um, applying for the course that could be the first milestone right so I'm going to do it in a way like this So after you apply for the bachelor's degree program that is the first milestone right the next milestone would be to complete first year right right and then your second milestone will be to complete second year And then, of course, the third milestone will be to complete third year. Okay. So this is one way you could do it, right? But in completing all these milestones, you have certain tasks or certain aspects that you need to tick off in order to apply for the BSc program. And I'm not going to put any for this because this one is the first step. But to complete first year, there are certain there are certain things that you have to check off in order for you to say you have completed first year, right? So the first thing could be um um you could pass pass semester one exam and also pass semester two exams All right so those could be something that you check off and it would be the same thing for all the other years for year two and year three past semester one exam past semester two exam etc right um yeah so i was saying to her this is one way you could also do it um you could put your vision board sign here you could put your vision board sign there um and it could be a three-year because um, i mean it's a three-year program so you could write three-year plan and you don't even have to put three-year plan because this is just one goal that you're trying to achieve so you just leave it at that 
not even to say to your pen I want to go right so I was saying one of the things I strive to do um, when I'm doing when I did my vision board is um, so I'm gonna put this down one of the things I try to do is to ensure that um, whenever I achieve certain milestone I I celebrate myself or I I don't even want to say celebrate myself but yes in a sense it's what it, it's what I mean to celebrate myself to celebrate the achievement so each milestone that I achieve I celebrate um, myself achieving that milestone whether it's a pep talk I give myself whether it's a prayer I'm gonna tell God thanks whether I'm gonna go to a restaurant and celebrate me achieving what I achieved whatever it is it's a case where when you do that, you kind of hit the reset button, you know, to rejuvenate yourself so you can go and take on the next milestone, start working towards the next milestone. Because if you continue to work and work and work and work and work at all these milestones, what will happen is that you'll get burnt out and you, you'll just feel like this will take too long, I can't bother because I not get nothing. But at the end of the day, you're getting something because you're achieving your milestones but the fact that you are working 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 you're overloading your body you're overloading your mind overloading your body at some point you need to take a break to rejuvenate to move on to the next goal to the next milestone if you understand what i'm saying so in essence when you do your vision board each time you achieve one of the goals that you have put on your vision board to achieve, take a break. Celebrate yourself. Say, yes, I did it. I know I could do it. I did it. Take a break and say, all right, look at the next goal and say, okay. So the next one to take on is you. How am I going to achieve you? I'm going to do this. All right. Give yourself a pep talk. Yeah, that one that did hard with my just do, but... I have to do that one year, so I'm gonna take my time and make achieve that one year. You have to give yourself pep talk. Sit down, take a day, don't do nothing, kick up your foot and say, just praise yourself to say, Yes, I did it. Now, praise yourself too much because you don't want to get complacent. So, don't stop for too long either because you don't want to get complacent to the point where you don't feel like you need to tackle the next task, right? So what you need to do in, in essence is to just, you know, take a breather, not too long, just take a breather, give yourself a pep talk, yes, we have achieved the first um, milestone, let's go on to the next goal, cool, that's how you do it. And so, in order to create a vision board, as I said, you can use um, foam board, you can use cardboard, you can use a canvas sheet, you can use a piece of paper, you can use cartridge paper, you can put it in a one book, whatever you want, you can do. Um, you can use clip snippets out of um, a magazine, you can print pictures and paste them on your board, you can use a marker and you can write them on, you can use sticky pads. So give it to write like motiva motivational, um, uh, what you call those phrases, right? And paste the money so that each time you go up to your vision board, you can see these things and to keep motivating yourself. I like to use the, the one where you check off the ones that you have completed because once you do that, you can see that you are actually making moves, you're actually working, you're actually achieving. So that is why I like to use the milestones where you can clearly see the steps that you're taking and the stuff that you're achieving. What you don't want to do is to overload yourself on your vision board, right? You want to keep it concise, keep it simple, keep it realistic. I mean, um, you don't want to overload it. When you have too many things on it, you don't want to do that. Because in a case where you give yourself only a year to achieve so much things, you know, and a year is only a year. How much can you really achieve in a year? So you want to give yourself ample time as well. You don't want to bombard yourself with a lot of things to achieve in only one year. So if you know that you have a lot of things to achieve, give yourself some time. So, so if you're doing the vision board, say, okay, this is a three to four year vision board because you can have a three to four year vision board because you don't want to, you want to have ample time to achieve all those things that you put on your board. All right. You can use markers, as I said, to write on your vision board. Um, you can get yourself some um, uh, sticker pads. You can get yourself some. Um, uh, you can get yourself some 
glitter paper some nice sticky tape you can get yourself some um what you call those again um paper clips whatever makes your vision board come to life to show you whatever you think you can put on it so that it will grab your attention every day then do that one of the things that I do as well is um, I don't look at my vision board every day. It makes no sense to look at it every day because if you look at it every day, you're going to feel like you're not really achieving anything. So what I do is I do like I check on my vision board like every other month or every three months. Sometimes five months, I'm going to look at it. But I try to look at it at least every other month you know to just remind myself and all the things that i had put on it because when you put a lot of things on it you don't want to forget what you put on it if you're like me and you don't have a good memory because i don't have a good memory i forget things and so i need to look on it a lot to remember what i put on it it's the same thing for my goals jar sometimes i have to go in there and open up the papers and look in it because i don't remember what i put in it that's true I don't remember i don't remember the little things but i know the big pictures ones i remember those but the little things that i know that i want to work on sometimes i forget them so i have to you know look on it um because some of the things on your uh, some of the things on my vision board were daily things that i had to work on daily so i need to make sure that i remember all of those things um yeah what else can i tell you guys about creating your vision board at the end of the day you don't want to create a vision board that represents somebody else and what somebody else wants to achieve. The essence of the vision board is to create something for you. Something that will grab your attention. Something that you would want to work towards when you, are when you have completed that vision board. The vision board is not to create something to look nice and put on. No. It's for you to do something so you can see the things that you want to achieve and by seeing them it makes you want to work to achieve them all right that in essence that's what the vision board is for um so yeah i hope you guys understand how to create a vision board now i hope i didn't take up all your time um and i i want to see your vision board so when you have completed your vision board please head on over to my um Head on over to Instagram, upload your pictures on Instagram and tag me on them. Tag um, Journey With Me KC on Instagram and I will see your vision board post. Don't, don't forget guys to leave your comment down below if you're going to start your own vision board because I need to know that you guys are going to do your vision board. So let's start working towards achieving our goals. 2020 is almost over. 2021 is around the corner. Let's use up the year wisely let's not be left behind all right guys love you guys take care take care when lessons over me lessons